How to do A-B testing on Facebook ads, step by step for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with A-B testing on Facebook. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do is open up your Facebook page or accounts business suite. So to be able to do that, just head on over to Facebook and you can head on over to your business suite via the top right menu. Now, before we get into setting up A-B testing, you need to understand what A-B testing means because a lot of people that are new to Facebook ads just think, oh, it's just one thing and I just have to make another ad and that means I'm A-B testing. That is not A-B testing at all. It's a whole lot more complex or nuanced than that. So what exactly is A-B testing? Well, when you run one ad as multiple ads with one variable changed, for example, if you're wanting to test out different captions, you would run the same creative being an image or a video for multiple different ads, but give each ad a different caption or vice versa. So if you're looking to, you know, test out different creative elements, such as the creative video that you have generated, but you keep the caption the same. So the same font, color, and size of captions on all of your ads. Now, after that, you would identify which ad performs better in terms of engagement or sales or whatever your goal is. So it might also be leads, it might also be click-through rates or whatever you want. Now, your goal is keeping one element the same throughout the entirety of your ad campaign and one element or variable changed. So one element or variable is a constant and the other is the dependent variable. Now, through such a method, this allows you to see what exactly it was about the ad that helped you grow. So if you see that the captions, the yellow captions did better than the white captions, then you would know that the difference is in the captions, not the creative content that was present behind it, because the other content that you uploaded had the same thing. Now, this can be a great way to identify the key elements that help in boosting your engagement or leads or your target goals within your Facebook ad campaign. So you might run two Facebook ad campaigns simultaneously and one might have better results than the other. However, if you don't have A-B testing, you're not going to know what was it about the other campaign that created more leads. So if you have, you know, slightly different images and slightly different captions, you're not going to know what was the thing that set the ad campaign apart. So what this can help you in doing is that in the longer run, when you know that one type of font works for your ad campaigns because you've tested it out, that is going to help you in making sure that you have A-B testing because now you have A-B tested that particular font with multiple different creatives, you know that that font works for you. So instead of having to do that over the long run, you're going to work with that over and over again because you already know that that is what works for you. Now to get started with this, simply head on over to your campaign manager on Facebook and you can click on A-B test over here and you can click on get started. Now for this, you can make a copy of ads or you can select two existing ads. Now, obviously I recommend always creating a copy of a ad. So what we're going to do is first, we're going to create our ad. So we have a leads example or, you know, you can create any kind of campaign or ad sets that you want. This ad set has currently been turned on. We can also just click on create and click on continue over here. You know, you're just going to click on next, build your ad like this, click on next, click on publish. Obviously, you're going to set these up as actual ads. We're just doing this as a sample. And you can add your business information over here to make sure that everything is in order. Obviously, you're going to be adding your payment info to be able to, you know, start running your campaign. But after you've added all of your basic info over here, you're going to go into your A-B testing and you can get started. You can select your particular ad set or choose two particular ads that you already have. So we have our leads ads over here or our pre-existing ads. And once you create two of your campaigns, so two or three, you can even do it with campaigns or ad sets. You can actually compare the particular ads that you have. So you can just use some of the pre-existing ad campaigns that you have and do A-B testing on those. Or 
you can always take a look at your ad campaign. So if you want to make this easier, let's say you added a different caption. So let's say on one of the items, I added the caption 30% off by now. And on the second ad campaign, I said the sale is now live 30% off. However, the media content on both of these would be same. So I would just make the ad campaign once over here and click on duplicate. So if you hover your mouse over the item, you can click on duplicate and you can create a new campaign and click on duplicate over here. After that, you can see you have your awareness. You're going to click on publish and just change the overall uh, caption that you inserted. So you guys can see you have your A-B test as well. And you will also see in A-B testing, you have different images, text, or placements. And you will also see that two different groups are going to be reacting to your campaign. So you have a better split half reliability instead of, you know, having to rely on, you know, people being shown the same stimulus over and over again. They would actually be shown the items differently. Now, once you actually have run these A-B tests, you can actually go into your ads reporting. To be able to see some analytical data you can always compare the analytical data on your own you don't need to necessarily put it through the process of a b testing and a lot of people do this wrong because whenever they are selecting their ads for a b testing they actually select two of the same ads that are you know they're similar in the campaign as in they're promoting the same product but they're using all different variables so to make sure your a b test actually gives you some accurate information to make sure that you're able to extract some info that is going to be of value to you make sure that you have kept in mind what is the thing that was changed so make sure you have one constant variable in your ad campaign or your particular ad that you're running a b testing on and the second thing should be a variable so a dependent variable you could call it which is going to be the one that is being changed so it might be captions it might be the media content it might be the placements it also might be you know whether or not you use a video of the product or a image of the product those types of things also make a huge difference whether or not you use a photo of the product being used versus a photo of the product just being displayed so this kind of value information is going to be what helps you in noticing what gets you the most engagement clicks likes or leads so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.